Welcome back and in this video we're going to learn a little bit of the difference between flow and opacity for our brushes. So one of the things that Photoshop tries to do is simulate or emulate the way that regular paint will look on a canvas or on a piece of paper or whatever. Um, and one of the ways of doing that is by using our settings in the brush tool which are called the opacity, the flow and the opacity. And this is basically it's trying to simulate how much ink uh, or how much water it will be mixed with the ink or with the paint in that brush. So let me give you an example. We have 100% flow, 100% opacity. Let's see the differences are. Well, first, when it's all set up 100% and I'm saying and I'm um, and I'm using a black a black brush. Uh, let's try medium hardness. So a medium sized brush, 100% opacity and flow, it's basically going to paint black. That's it. Now let's try reducing the opacity. So let's reduce the opacity to something like 15 or yeah, like 10%. Reduce the opacity. Now it's going to be obviously less opaque as it was at 100. And as I paint in, that opacity doesn't change. If I want to make it a little bit darker, if I want to build up on the effect, I have to let go of the mouse and then click back again. And it builds up as long as I release and click again, it will build up. But if I don't release, if I don't click again, it's not going to build up as much as I go through it, you know, over time. Okay, so that's opacity. Now let's try flow. I'm going to increase opacity back to 100%. I'm going to reduce flow all the way down to 1%. Now with flow, it works similar, but in a different way. I'm going to start slow and it start very dim, but I can keep on going back and forth. And even though I am not letting go of the mouse, it's still building up the effect. It flows, basically. So it keeps going and going until I get to 100%. And I started at 1, so it's going to take a while. So that's the difference between opacity and flow. Flow is going to keep building up the ink even if I don't let go of the mouse. And with opacity, I have to let go of the mouse before I can build up more of the effect or of the ink. But there's a way that we can mix these two together. For example, Think of the opacity of the, as the maximum ink that you're going to be able to put on, on your canvas. So let's start with like 10% opacity, just to make this quicker. And let's go to, let's say 30% flow, 30% opacity, I'm sorry, 10% 10, 10 flow, 30% opacity. It's go, and it's going to do a mixture of the two. All right. Well, let's try. So I'm going to start painting in with flow and it's building up. However, my opacity is set to 30%. So it's going to keep building and building and building until it gets to 30% and then it stops. So my opacity is like my ceiling and my flow is how long it takes me to get there. And that's how you use both. Now let's look at some other settings. Okay, first let's bring the opacity back to 100. I'm just going to click here and drag it all the way 100 and let's click this airbrush icon let me show you what it does it's basically trying to emulate a, an airbrush what it means is that i can click and hold the cursor and it will build up the effect like an airbrush let me show you so i'm clicking i'm not moving and it's building up the effect all right let's try doing the same without the airbrush and again, I'm using flow of 10% and opacity of 100. But the essence, it works with different settings. It's just the way you see it. Okay, now I am going to press and hold, and I'm not going to move the cursor. And I have the um, airbrush turned off. So I press, hold, and it's not building up the effect. Now, don't get confused with the flow. I'm still using 10% flow. So if I move it, it will start building up. Okay. But the airbrush allows it to stay still and build it up. 
Okay, the other icon right here that we have is for, this is used with, if you have a Wacom tablet or any other brand of tablets, and it's using the pressure sensitivity to change the size of the brush. So even though I have a large size right here, if I apply a little pressure to my tablet, it's gonna make a smaller brush. Then if I, or if I press harder, it's gonna make a larger one. This is not affected if you use a mouse. And then in here we have the opacity controlled by the pressure sensitivity, which instead of instead of changing the size with the pressure sensitivity of the tablet, we're changing the opacity. So if I press a little bit, it's a little bit opaque, but if I press harder, it's more opaque. Again, these two settings, these last two settings, are not gonna make any difference if you're not using a Wacom tablet. But we're gonna talk about Wacom tablets in a later episode. And finally, let's take a look at some of the shortcuts and how we can modify our brush. Well, if you want a quick way of modifying the opacity and the flow, it's very simple. Pressing the numbers from one to nine will change the opacity in increments by 10. So if I press one, it's gonna change the opacity to 10%. If I change it to five, or if I press five, it's gonna change the opacity to 5%, and pressing zero will give me the opacity at 100%. You can also press two numbers consecutively and it will make that the opacity value. So I can press four and five quickly and I get 45. If you want numbers smaller than 10, then you can you have to press zero and then the number. So zero five quickly will give me 5%. To change the flow, it's the same, but you have to be holding shift while doing so. So shift and zero will give me a flow of 100%. You can also change those numbers by clicking in this drop down menu and just dragging the slider. You can also click on the flow on the captions and drag the, the slider, the same for opacity. You can change the brush size by pressing on the um, bracket keys. I'm sorry, I have flow selected. By pressing on the bracket keys like this, like that. You can also control or right click on the canvas and it will give you this brush menu. And here we can change the size and we can also change the hardness. Or we can click on this drop down menu and it's gonna give you the same the same window. Another shortcut for to changing the brush size is to press Control and Option on a Mac or Control Alt on, on Windows. And then we can click and drag left and right to change the brush size or up and down to change its hardness. A softer brush is gonna have, is gonna have a feather edges and a hard brush is gonna have a more defined edge. Now you might be thinking, well, why are we gonna use this if this is photography? Well, we use this, um, all these settings and tools in our brush when we wanna paint in some manual effects. Maybe you want to add some makeup or paint in some you know, patches of hair manually. We also use these tools when we are uh, using or retouching methods like dodging and burning. We also use this when we're masking and we're gonna learn how to do that in the next video.